I myself. I <laughs> left you a I left you a pride dry age room. You did. You did. I do appreciate that. I'll have that this weekend. And Carl, I haven't seen you in person in a, a yeah, long yeah. time. Yeah, so I mean, at least three years. I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. At least three years. I mean, I've gotten a little more gray. I, by the way, it's when I saw you. It looks good. Said, your hair looks it looks great. Thank you. I love it. Work that gray. Yeah. Like popping it with a white shirt. Popping it with a white shirt. What's oh, up? Your hair looks um, a little thinner. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, oh, what's up? We're not on network television right now? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, it's right here. It's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one is that when it goes like this. No, oh, uh, wait, what? My favorite one is not? No, uh, uh, you were like, who said that? That's his favorite Kristen one. Bell? He can't remember it. Yeah. No, there's this one. Yeah. Uh, but then I think it's Kristen Bell's okay, it's game where she does right this, now. and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's make a drink. Shall all right. So, oh, I love yes. drink. so everybody, you remember when Clinton used to make all the drinks and everything? So that's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> so that's this, this, this feels like back in the day, like you would make your cocktails. You know what I was just thinking about earlier. How funny it would be if we put booze in your cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll make a, a mocktail. Remember that time we put that caffeine? Oh that my god. Like, Remember that? She lost her mind. So we had this caffeine spray. Oh, the caffeine like, spray. Oh, yes, I you know, know. Know. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put the caffeine like under my armpits. So, by the way. So How is the word with the caffeine? That's I think so. Good. What do you mean you think so? You lost your marble. Every time I drink caffeine, I feel it's like over my eyes, like a strain, and it's coming down like this, like down my arm. Um, so, armpit, and I started shaking, and I was trying not to tell anybody, but then I had a knife, and I'm like this. But it also made you tired. Oh, yeah. You got, yeah. you like, were like Jackie and then tired. Uh-huh. Jackie. 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 All right. So what are you making? Tell us. So, all right. So I'm making. Uh, this is my first time ever making this, so it might suck, oh, but great. I don't think it will. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a jalapeno tequila pineapple spritz. So I love a spritz. I just mashed some jalapeno with some tequila in this for Michael and myself, and I just I strained that out into the onto the into the glasses, and then I mashed up some jalapeno for Carla, and to that I'm going to add some pineapple juice. Nice. This is, Fresh this, I see. This, is <laughs> this is the expensive stuff. I think this was like seven dollars. Uh, what? Yeah. They want real time for that job. I, I actually, I think that's one of the things we should talk about. The prices in the uh, grocery store right now are crazy. Crazy. Now. What? Crazy. Okay. Airline prices are out of control. I bought, yes, I bought a quart of. I, I was baking the other day. Yeah. Kind of, which is frightening. And I was finishing with whipped cream, so I bought a quart of heavy cream. It was eight dollars and twenty-five cents. What? What? That's crazy. Oh, I forgot to put ice in yours, Carla. Okay, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no booze, no ice. That's how it works. I was like, <laughs> that doesn't look right. You either get hammered with Danny Clinton or you don't get ice. <laughs> yeah, tell me if you think it needs lime. I didn't add the lime. I, like I said, I, I already think it, it might because of the pineapple juice. Right, let's see. Check oh, it out. taste. And it's club soda. It's oh. I, yeah, I want some lime. Shit, mine's hot. Spicy. You put a jalapeno in there. I know, but I mean, I, you know, I put a little too much. All right, you can all squirt of that for you. Stir it with your finger. <laughs> Boy, he goes all out. <laughs> this is what happens wow. when you don't have producers on a network. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's this is true. what happens when you live through a pandemic and don't entertain for two and a half years. Right? Yeah. I have that apartment. Stir it with your finger. <laughs> Look, he's just grabbing random knives out of his life. All right, let me just uh, tell you. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. 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 I love you guys. All right. Love you Cheers, guys. you all. Everybody. Let me tell you, if you don't drink, what is so nice about the jalapeno, mm -hmm. it mimics the heat of alcohol. It does. And so it actually feels very interesting. And I think that for anything you're doing, any mocktail, add like jalapeno or some kind of yeah. pepper, and it really is nice. Yeah. You know what else mimics, mimics the heat of alcohol? Mm. Alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny though that you think alcohol, it just shows you because you don't drink, that alcohol is hot. It feels that, hot. It, it, <laughs> yeah. it feels hot to me. That's so funny. Yeah. It does feel a little hot. Like the burning sensation. Of yeah. Like, a, a, like bourbon yeah. and all yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. So just let me give you the actual recipe for this. So I did a little bit of jalapeno, muddled it with tequila, added pineapple juice, club soda, and a lime. It's very refreshing. I'm enjoying it very much. And I think it's on the lower calorie side. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're watching our girlish figures. We are. Okay, what are you making, Michael? So, all right, Thanksgiving is around the corner. 
Yep. And a lot of people, this is back from the Chew days, you know, a lot of people are always like, you do these whole turkeys, you, yeah. do, you know, and we're doing a smaller Thanksgiving. So I got a turkey breast and I just cut it into kind of like little medallions almost or cutlets. Yeah. And I'm just going to cook a boneless, skinless turkey breast and make a pan gravy. Great. Love and it. And now like if you wanted to do legs and thighs, when you were doing this, you could kind of season legs and thighs, throw them in the oven as you're doing this. And you're good. Okay. So it's just a really, and the other thing is too, is going back to crazy prices right now, is turkey prices are insane. Yes. So you could still, you could do this with the chicken, you could, you know, mix it up and yeah. do a couple different methods. I'm only really having five people to share for Thanksgiving. Oh, really? Yeah, I might just do a big ass chicken. <laughs> might as well just come to my house. We have like 40. Oh, really? What's another five? 40. Oh, my God. Oh. Good for you. You got more friends than I have, evidently. Just more family. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's all right now. Okay. Your family's where? Some are going traveling to um, uh, to DC. Some people are going to um, not Ecuador, um, Uruguay, um, and other people are on Long Island. Yeah, they still feel like doing the, the road trip. I get yeah. it. What yeah. are you doing for Thanksgiving this year? Uh, we're going to Matthew's parents in Michigan. In the D! In the D? Well, you know, more like the K, Kalamazoo, y'all. Yeah. Uh, outside the D! So, uh, outside the D! Um, so we're going there, and I honestly don't know if there's going to be a, whenever I go there, I don't know if it's going to be a homemade uh, Thanksgiving dinner or it's going to be at a restaurant. Okay, you don't know. Or you, don't, you don't ask uh, ahead of time? I, I mean, I kind of ask, but I, I, either way. But there's no bad answer there at all. Like, you know what, though? I, I got to say, is, you know, in the restaurant business, like the, the busiest holiday in restaurants in New York is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Even busier than New Year's. You know, and I don't think it's a, like if, if you don't want to deal with the stress of it, it's not a terrible thing. Well, no. I'll tell you, in, in, you know, in New York City, like kitchens aren't huge, and right. it would be a lot to pack a whole family of people, you know, 10, 12 people, into a small kitchen, into a small uh, living space. Maybe camera people could come oh, in yes. and just look, look at this, this look beautiful at this. sizzling sage. So, what we're doing here, CK, is, and Ms. Carla, is Two things. I'm kind of crisping up some sage because when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of mm -hmm. the sage yeah, and thyme. And so this is going to flavor the oil a little bit before I cook the turkey in it. Um, and then, but I'm going to pull them out after they crisp and we could use them as a little garnish. You want this? Great. Oh, and it smells so good. It's, it's it, amazing. I'm, how I'm, you know, you know, they burn sage. Yep. So I'm frying sage to get the smell of steak out of Clinton's apartment. <laughs> Seriously, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's getting smoky in here, Michael. Oh, oh my god, god. just uh, stop. You I don't know, cook in this house. I, said... I cook it, I mean I cook in my house, not in this apartment. All right, but right. so flour. Turkey. You saw season, it. Everything season, the flour and the turkey. Get off! I just want you all to notice that how Michael is not using his fingers for the turkey so you don't have to ask about his hands being washed. They still um, they still will. Uh, well, I put ice in your glasses. I'm washing my hands. I'm doing this. Yes, thank you. And I'm gonna. Could you put a car? Put a little more oil in that pan. Yes, yes. Um, so you need to get a decent amount of oil in the pan because you, you got to get some crispiness on this. I'm gonna. I'm going skin side down first, and the reason that I'm flouring this is because it's gonna help thicken the gravy. And then if I do need to get some more thickness of the gravy at the end, I can mix a little butter in the flour and pull that in. There's a French name for that. I always forget. Um, uh, Bermonte. Bermonte. Monty's yes. butter. Um, Clinton, yes. You didn't close your uh, what? Your freezer. Didn't close my freezer. You know, and I know I'm going to get blamed for it. That's right. I got some of your pierogies in there. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. Okay, let's talk about yes. Gold Belly. Gold Belly. You guys are both in Gold Belly. We're both doing Gold Belly. I had your dinner with the sausages and the pierogies. They were fantastic. Oh, thank you. But it right. also reminded me so. By the way, if you all know them, Gold Belly, you go on goldbelly.com, you look up my designer or Carla Hall. Um, <laughs> and this dinner, so I, I brought them in to when I was well, shooting you were doing gingerbread. Like, yeah. And we had this big feast. It was fantastic. And it reminded me of the shoot when we would have the pierogies and the yes. onions and the oh, butter. Yes. And, you know, and you'd be making those. It was just so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. Speaking of which, one of the favorite things that you made that I love was that uh, it was a stew with all different kinds of pork. You had sausage in it. You had the smoke. I'm getting ready. I'm making it. I'm, I'm making it on 
Kelly and Ryan next week. Oh, really? What? I, I That's so a, funny. It's the, 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 uh, the, it's the, the sauerkraut the pickle is the sauerkraut? Yeah, the sauerkraut. Oh, that is so hilarious, Carla. That is my favorite, well, and I talk about it all the time. Mm, you know, come I'm, by. I'm, <laughs> if I'm in town, don't crash, show. Crash the show. I mean, I've never been on that show, but whatever. Um, but I tell you, <laughs> 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 You know you have to see me on Kelly and Ryan. Um, but that is one of my favorite, favorite dishes. Clinton, yeah. you made um, one of my favorite, it was a couple things. One, it was your baguette with the baked baguette with the eggs and the bacon. Oh yeah, like the um, the, uh, the breakfast uh, casserole. The breakfast casserole, but you also did one with biscuits, didn't you? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but they used to love a casserole on the table. Oh, they used to love a casserole. When you made piccata. Oh, really? I thought you made a delightful piccata. A chicken piccata? You made a chicken piccata. I made a chicken piccata. You know, I grew up on chicken cutlets. I'm from Long Island, we ate a lot of chicken cutlets when I was growing yeah. up. I live in Long Island now, and they still eat a lot of cutlets. They love a cutlet. They love a cutlet. They love a cutlet. Love, love it. So if you're from Long Island, you can turn this into a cutlet. Just pound it a little bit. Pound it. Yeah. Crab <laughs> out of it. It'll be great. Beat the hell out of it. It's a cutlet. But, I mean, real talk, though, if you did beat it, then, okay. If you did pound it, then you... <laughs> it wasn't weird until you pulled okay. it. I never know when it's a sexual innuendo because I, I say it and then I look at y'all and y'all like... <laughs> <laughs> but um, it doesn't cook. It, it, it takes a, a shorter time to cook. So if you were trying to get the dinner on the table really fast, that's a good way to get your... Your turkey on it. Yeah. While the turkey's cooking, should we answer some viewer questions? Do it. Okay. So, Carter, right, for, right yep. before we start, I'm just yeah. going to yeah. put flour, make a roux, oh, yeah. add a little bit of wine, then a little bit of stock, and then this is just all going to simmer together with time enough. Right? Nice. All right? So, now, we, now we're good. Now, this is an olive oil roux. Roux doesn't always have to be with butter, by the way. Right. It's Fat and oil. flour yeah. equal parts. And then you. Until it looks like the texture of like, wet sand. Wet sand. Wet sand. Wet sand. Like you actually were paying attention. It makes me so happy. And right now we are smelling that sage. And you can see how he's not having to work so hard and stress. The meat is still in there. Nobody's taking it out. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to give wine. So remember when I did that thing and I was like, if you don't want to do turkey, if you don't have, you don't have to do turkey. You can do chicken. You can do. That was that was at the very end of the show when when we had. Yes, the, uh, yes. But we got the fuck What did we call it? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> we were selling things off the show and all that. And, uh, but I, I'm saying that to say, if you don't want to use wine, you can use other things. Yeah. But, apple cider is good. Yeah. Apple cider, but you could also use some kind of a tea. You know, uh, tell me when. No more. Good. Um, but I'm thinking about, um, you could also use like some kind of uh, a really mild tea. Oh, At first cool. I was thinking like chamomile, but that's sort of floral, but you could use, I'm just trying to think of other things that other liquids you could use, obviously so you have your stuff yeah. here. But to give like a, almost like a little, a little flavor or something. Give me some thyme? Thyme. 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 Just going to throw There's in There's some up. people asking what you're making. Hell, I don't know. We'll recap. No, I'll recap. 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 So we're making um, pan roasted turkey breast in a pan gravy. So for people that maybe want to make a smaller Thanksgiving and not do such a giant meal, um, we just flour, seared it, flipped it, made a roux, white wine stock, thyme. I'm going to put in a little nutmeg, mm -hmm. um, salt, and cracked black pepper, and we're just going to mm -hmm. let this simmer away. You could finish it in the oven at this point, or you could do it on the stove top. Um, I have the oven set at about 350. I'm just going to put it in the oven because if I shake the pan on Clinton's stove, he'll beat me. And so I don't want to do that. So, so I'm just going to put it in the oven. Let's let them see the, the texture of and sort of the viscosity. Don't of, shake the pan. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't warn her about that. Yes, don't scratch my um, So look at the viscosity. It's like a it's gonna, thin gravy. It's a yeah, thin gravy, but it's going to thicken right. because yeah. you have the flour, yeah. right? Which is going to be really nice. I want you to see it now so that when it comes out. So a lot of times people get this too thick. You have nowhere to go and this is a gloppy mess. Right. I mean, okay. Sloppy mass is a little but it, And the nice thing is, too, is once we kind of see where we are here with thickness, I could, if it gets a little bit too thick when we pull it out, I have some additional stock to get it. Yes. If it's a little bit too thin, I could add butter flour, vermonte to thicken it up. Uh -huh. Great. All right. 
put them in the oven now? Yes, sir. Come on, I'm ready okay. for the questions. All right. Sorry, buddy. Questions. I asked you for questions. You got a lot of you asked, why don't you guys bring the chew back? We're not answering that question because we can't bring the chew back. We don't own the show. We don't, we're not network executives, so we're not even going to answer that question. But okay. I do want to say, remember Erica Kane? She can bring herself back to life. Here. But I just want to say, I'm just saying. Okay. Yes, I hope you all were nicer uh, to the, our replacements than they were to us. I know, right? That was rough. Okay. Uh, uh, favorite holiday sides? Something Mary wants to know. Favorite holiday sides? Mm. I love dressing. For me, it's dressing, and I do a cornbread dressing with gravy. That is like my favorite, favorite thing. Yeah, mine is my biscuit stuffing. So I, as the bread, I use biscuits, homemade biscuits, and then I crumble them up. Delicious. Oh, so do you, you, you crumble them and you toast them, and then you yeah. bring them? Yeah, I, I make biscuits, crumble them up, toast them, and then do the whole thing with the egg and the stock and the milk and the mushrooms and the celery. Uh, Delicious. What's your favorite side? My, my pap's uh, corn pudding. Oh! oh yeah. it's so oh, good. Oh, it's so good. It's so oh, good. dude. So hey, good. you know what I love about when we were on the chew and we would have like everything. So, oh, you're putting potatoes in there? No, I had potatoes from that demo I did earlier, so I'm just oh, going to throw them. Oh, that makes sense. I want to scoop them while I get a little starch. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I'm going to save some for Clint so he has some for a steak. <laughs> Because I'm just here. I actually am just saving the potatoes for David. I don't give a shit about you. David <laughs> <laughs> came home with this salad. He's happy. All right. Uh, all right. No, but what I was saying, yeah. what I loved about when we did all of the Thanksgiving shows, and we, I mean, we've been working on Thanksgiving probably a couple of weeks, and everybody would have their own on, on yeah. menus, and I would have a, an idea of what I was going to do, and it would change every time somebody was cooking something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not, wait, I'm gonna replace that with this thing. So my menu would change until I got home and I, you know? Yes. Oh, we know. We know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> oh, we know. Um, uh, several, several people, um, mostly men, wanted us to comment on um, Michael's recent posting of several- Did you say mostly men? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> several thirst traps. Do we all know what a thirst trap is? Let me just explain what a thirst trap is. It's a picture that you take of yourself in which you know you look good. <laughs> okay? So that people will be like, oh, you look so good. How do you look so good? Right. And then you read it at home, you're like, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> and then they see your picture, they're like, oh, let me get this. Yeah, let me get this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And they read into stuff. No, if you haven't seen Michael posted a picture of his abs, and recently, was that November 1st? What's today? November 3rd? Oh, no. Michael, on November 1st, <laughs> posted his stories, a picture of his lower body in short shorts. And he's like, why do they make shorts so short these days? I can't figure it out. <laughs> and I'm, he's always texting me. I'm like, dude, who posts about shorts in November? You're so thirsty. I'm like, you're so thirsty. What's Just up? Like Talk about the thirst. The first question I have is Clinton, for someone who doesn't look at thirst traps, he's the first person to reply to everyone that I post. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. hey, we should talk about this. <laughs> right hey, off the hey, rip, I don't even have that thing up for eight seconds, <laughs> and I get a side text before I post on my story. Um, what's with the, you know, blah, 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 with all his comments. <laughs> all his comments. I have an alert set so that it's Michael's then, Thursday, yeah. I got a ding, and I'm like, Then, Let's see. when we go out to dinner, and we talk about maybe doing TV again, he brings up his honesty, and he goes, I have to admit, you know, you were, I was in much better shape than you the first time around in the chew, and now we're kind of on equal ground, so it makes me a little nervous. Did we say that? What's, no, what's no happening? we didn't say that. You said that. Oh, Carlos Crouch just turned off the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Which are turkey. <laughs> Carlos. You can take something that's hot and just turn it off. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you locked it. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's really that's I mean, crazy. she turned it off and locked it. You really did. It's magic. And you had to hit that pedal up button for three seconds. You were, yeah, yeah. Well, you were in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was thirsty. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Well, there's the that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So yeah. look, the first time that I posted, and I put this in the post, and you and I discussed this, anyways. Whatever. I got in my 
It started with the chew. When the chew started, yeah. I was in great, the same shape I'm in now. Yes. yes. And yes. then over <laughs> seven years, the spread. shit just went sideways. Yeah. And I couldn't recover. And it was like my whole life I'd been in shape. I just couldn't, I couldn't flip it. And like, I had moments where it's like, Liz would be like, oh, let's do yoga. I start doing yoga, yeah, I get a little bit of shape. Yeah. shape the yoga. And then, I, and like, we would, like, here's what you guys would have to understand about the chew is we would do two shows a day. We would make three to five recipes yes. per show. Now, yes. my personality is such as, and I'm sure you guys notice this at home, they put, a, it's the Midwestern in me. They put a plate in front of me, I finish the plate. Yeah. Always. Every time. So yeah. if we do two shows, eight to 10 recipes, I eat 10 meals, eight to 10 meals, before two o'clock yeah. every day. Yeah. And then typically I do the list that night. Right. Yeah. So basically I was having seven to eight meals a day, every day, and it didn't matter how much I worked out. It, it, so anyhow, so about a year and a half ago, I was feeling, I was, a, a friend of mine <laughs> sent me a friend. picture of myself. Oh, and uh, and uh, not like in a bad uh, way, it was a picture, uh, yeah. of, a picture <laughs> of two of us together. And I'm like, I literally, in my mind, I'm like, who's that guy? And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shit, that's me. That's you, that happens. And that was 18 months ago. So for the past 18 months, I, I got an app on my phone, I started working out literally eight minutes a day. Like eight minutes of calisthenics a day, and then a couple other things as I got back into some sort of shape. That, that helped me, and then getting Norman, our old dude Ozzy passed, we got a puppy, and he's a terrier, and Clinton warned me about terriers that they have a lot of energy, and I didn't really believe him, but I walked that little shit about four or five miles a day. Yeah. You know, so between steps and this, and so, it took me 18 months to get back into shape, and I wasn't going to post anything because I love all my friends, but they're assholes. So, because I knew they were going to make fun of me. But I'm like, you know what? I worked really hard. Exactly. And I'll post yeah. the thing. I get it. I'm not mad either. I think, you know, look. You and get back to me a Kardashian. And man. boy, did I get some DMs. Boy, <laughs> wow. You might have shared some of those DMs. <laughs> Some of them were a little aggressive. A lot of, a lot wow. of, a lot of people calling you daddy. <laughs> zaddy, what about zaddy? Zaddy. zaddy? zaddy is uh, Zaddy's a well-dressed uh, older man. A daddy, but who's like the put together. Oh, fuck. So they're just calling you an old guy and shit. Oh, yeah, daddy's, you know, we're in the daddy category now. Yeah. So I went from twink to daddy in a course like that. <laughs> I was just a Wait, twink last week, right? Twink is a skinny gay, a sk like a young skinny young. gay. Young, I think. Yeah. Young me, the young, key. young skinny gay. Because you're still skinny, by the way. I'm going to. I'm, I lost 15 pounds. I saw you in May. We went to lunch. You were in town. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh shit, Simon is skinnier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Competition. <laughs> by the way, this is how a friendship works for you at home that didn't know this from the truth. Yeah. I was like, shit, you're skinny. He's like, yeah, I lost all this weight. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> so I went home and I, I went on a diet and I lost 15 pounds and he inspired me to do it. Wait, but yeah. also, this was the, be the best part of the story for me, yeah. was because this is how we are, is he goes, she lost a lot of weight. I said, yeah, I've been working out. and you know, I haven't, didn't really change the way I ate that much. I've just been working out more. He said, shit. He goes, you know, like six months ago, I was in the best shape of my life. <laughs> I was in such good shape. I read the Used to ride the Peloton, I would beat everybody on the Peloton. Dude, I had long COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I had long COVID for six. I for like, yeah, I got COVID in December. From December to May, I could barely work out. I could not walk up a flight of steps on the subway. And then, uh, speaking of the subway, I don't want to tell the story about long COVID. Erase! Cut that, cut that. Okay, I would talk about, because Michael said, you know, by 2 o'clock we'd be done with work. Somebody just asked me the other day, did you and Michael and Carla ever take the subway together? Yeah, yes. Let me tell you my favorite story about the subway. Okay. So Michael and I would take the subway, because we both live downtown. We'd take the subway home after work. Carla lived on the Upper West, so he didn't take the subway, generally. Right. Michael and I would go, we'd put on our hats, and we'd sit quietly on the subway. We'd try not to be, you know, recognized or, you know, make a big scene. Carla one day, she's like, I'm going to go downtown. We're like, come take the subway with us. <laughs> let, me do, let me show you how Carla Hall gets on the subway. Now, keep in mind, Michael and I are hats on, sort of walking a little bit like this. <laughs> Carla Hall, coming down the subway steps. It's like a Miss America bench. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> it wouldn't be so weird until she had that big sign over her head that said, yeah. I'm Carla Hall. I'm Carla Hall. <laughs> please, please come take a picture with all three of us. 
So if we have people like in our faces, we're standing there. Yeah, we couldn't get a seat that day. Remember no. how we're holding the pole? Carla, you know, she's got her hair big, she's wearing heels. <laughs> you could not miss Carla Hall. Clinton and I had a system. We would get done with the show, we would get ready, we would yes. get to the subway. The subways ran every five minutes, we would get on the train, we would be home in 20 minutes after the show ended. Like clockwork. The day the car came with us an hour and a half later. <laughs> Liz, Liz thought we, I got hit by the subway. Right? She was like, where were you? I'm like, well, Carl, we did a photo, an impromptu photo shoot in yeah. the subway. Half a New York got pictures. You know, let me just tell you, and people are like, I know you're tired of taking pictures. And you all know what I say if you all have seen me out in the streets. I'm like, you're the reason I have a job. Okay? Look, we're out here. I do. I, like, look, when I'm talking about <laughs> someone says I want to take a picture, I always take a picture. Uh, yeah, I know you I, But I learned something. The, the, my, the season one of the two, um, Wolverine, Wolverine. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. He was like, what? I was not there that, that day. day. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He's oh, one of our first yeah. big guests. Yeah. And we're leaving the show. He goes, Michael, where do you live? I said, you know, I live in Seoul. He goes, oh, I live right there. He goes, you want to jump on the subway? I'm thinking to myself, holy shit, Hugh Jackman's get on the subway. And we walk in, you know, kind of hit his head down. We talk the whole way. We got off the subway. And I'm like, I mean, if they don't care about Hugh Jackman, they can give two shits about it with, like, the bald cook. Right. You know, <laughs> oh, there's the Iron Chef. Right. You know, so, but it was like, it was a lesson for me. Like, if you kind of go in, sit down, mind your business. Like, the, I mean, I feel... Like people go, how do how do you world peace? Everybody in the world should have to ride the New York subway for two weeks, and yeah. like you get on that subway, every color, every race, yeah. every denomination of yeah. money, yeah. everything, yeah. everything, yes. and it just goes. It's the best. It's the best. Well, I also think that everybody should be a waiter for a solid year, so you can see what assholes people can be to the wait staff. <laughs> Um, so I really would say that forever. Every should be it should be mandatory one year waiting table service. One hundred percent. All right, let's 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 play a game. Are you yeah, checking the turkey? Yeah, check check play the game. turkey. All right. Looks good. I can't see. I'm steamed up. Also, there's a towel right there. Oh, it's oh, thick enough. Not y'all. You don't want to see this? I don't want to get Clinton's. Um, he knows better than to. Uh, can they all see that? Oh, here, wait, let me. Here. Oh, wait, I have a, I have a pot holder. I know you do because I use Liz's good towels and I get yelled at. And Clinton okay. and Liz are kind of the same person. All right, y'all. Wait, see, so it's so just going. So you see how it's thickening up? You see Grave that? Looking Grave good. is looking really good. It smells great. It's that sage thyme. Damon, it's all for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so good. All the salt, the compliments. What? I call what? salt compliments. You know why, don't you, y'all? You don't use it. And don't get no problem. I want to play a game. Okay, let's play a game. It's called, uh, what did I call this? Most likely two. I'm going to give you guys each some paper. Yes. Homework. It's homework, and here's a, here's a Sharpie. Love it. Okay. And I'm going to ask you questions. We, all right. So people at home uh, got to pose questions, like who's most likely to blank? Okay. And then we, we try each other's name down. We'll see who the, the person is. Okay. How about this one? Um... Who is most likely to drunk call the others? Ask Mel. <clears throat> most likely to drunk call the others. Reveal. Michael Simon. What? I wrote Michael. <laughs> you, wrote, you wrote himself. I wrote myself. I, you don't drunk call? I drunk text. Oh. That was a trick question. Oh. 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 <laughs> Clinton actually, when you call him, it, on his message, he says, Ask yourself a question before you leave a message here. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I had that. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, and, uh, the question is, should this message be a text? Yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, who, uh, Tank Girl says, who is most likely to cook breakfast for your partner naked? <laughs> Does our partner get a say to this? It would be me, but this would be like, would you put your damn clothes on? I think you do like to be naked. I love to be naked. But Unfortunately, I have a wife that doesn't want me to be naked. <laughs> oh, all three, yeah. It's a, okay. Oh! It's, <laughs> it's me. Single. Yeah, Jennifer's like me. Yeah, no, I just cook naked all the time. Yeah. All you haven't got any burns anywhere? No, I'm pretty good okay. about that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, who out of the three of us is most likely to win Survivor? 
Well, we're gonna put ourselves. <laughs> I said Carla. You said yourself? Yeah. Why? I would crush, dude. I'm awesome in the wilderness. I can start fires. I can kill animals, skin things. That's not surviving. Have you ever seen surviving? They don't skin anything. That's not survivor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an excellent swimmer. <laughs> I'm an excellent swimmer. <laughs> Carla's got the social game. She's I think crap. Carla would win the social game. Alright, I've never watched Survivor. I just it sounded like something where you'd have to be good in the wilderness. Carly, would you ever go on Celebrity Survivor? I like that. I, I like Bugs, though. They don't have Then you're not going to win Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> Take my answer. I'd win. I'd win. Who is Bugs? Bugs. 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 Who is most likely to lose their cool while driving? Oh. 100%. I know who this is. You know who this is. You know who it is, too. Whoever who I work down. They know. They know who it is. No, it's me. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. I have the road rage. I have the road rage hard. His road rage is a passenger in my car before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate it. I give the finger probably once a day if I'm driving. Yeah. I can't stand it. It's not even. You know what bothers me so much is when it's just the complete disregard for other people's lives that drives me nuts. Yeah. It's like we're going 65 miles an hour. You don't have to zigzag in at 95. That means that you don't care about my life. So go back yourself. All right, great. Could you just turn this off so the turkey's hanging out in there? I don't ask Carla's vagina. Did you do it twice? <laughs> You're better the first time. Right? Yeah. Uh, always works that way. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> Uh, which one of you would be most likely to run for office? <laughs> I don't know. I, um... <laughs> Michael said none. <clears throat> I, I put... Oh, God, said no. I said Carla. Uh, yeah. You would never win. No, I, 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 I would win. I would no, win. Not that you would run, like you would never win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I think that you would. You could win. I just, uh, no. yeah, I don't know. You no. can play the game. I think politics yeah. is a game. I think that Carla would gladly go door to door, shaking people's hands and saying, my name is Carla Hall. This is what right. I say. You're honest too, but I, none of us can do it. We're all too honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't like, I, I mean, I'm too blunt too. You yeah. Know? yeah, you're yeah. too blunt. I'm too no, correct. No, no, it wouldn't yeah. be, no. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, who is the most likely to forget a pot on the stove while cooking. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Wait, I, I, this is a long oh God. <laughs> This should be unanimous. Yeah. This really should be unanimous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Marla. I also put and ingredients and, and recipes. recipes. <laughs> I, I was watching Rachel Ray the other day. I can't oh no. Oh my God. And you went like this. It was like, I, I, I was literally peeing my pants in my house. <laughs> You're like, okay, now I'm going to put in these peppers. And Rachel goes, those are tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did I say after that? I don't know. I was menopause. Menopause. You can't get into that. I said menopause. menopause. I try to mention menopause no. at least once. But you know what, though? It has nothing to do with menopause because you were having menopause when we were together. Either. I know. I know, I know. Well, I'm going to put this banana. I'm, oh, banana, I know. Was so, it banana? No, no, it was no egg. we had egg. a bunch of eggs. No, right, but there are two things. Okay. But that wasn't forgetting. That was her learning how to use the IMP. <laughs> okay. But the one time, we were the three of us were cooking, and she was making, like, banana bread. Yeah. And Carla went, next I'm going to put in. <laughs> and Clinton went, a banana? <laughs> <laughs> there was a bowl. The bowl of bananas right in front of her. I don't remember that. Oh my god. I thought it was you who said it, but I remember it 100%. I remember. It's just like. I thought it was Clinton just went, oh, banana. Because <laughs> you were like, banana. Oh, the good one. Oh, the good one. I'm going to give you too much. I don't, sad. No. But should we ever no. talk, tell the story about the egg? Fun. So on the tube, we had <laughs> IFBs in our ear. Uh, and that was so that the producers could communicate with us. One producer usually was Gordon. So yes. Gordon, Gordon if, you, if you know Gordonelli, he's a big guy with a big, booming voice. Um, and in the beginning, he was in our ear a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, having conversations. Yeah. yeah. If, Gordon, if Gordon's watching the show, just so you know, so it's the know. fourth episode of The Chew, and we did almost 1,500, I had my IFD off. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in, Gordon, you know, can you hear me? I said, yes, turn it off. And that, that's, I did the, the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
And Carl, this, and very early on, Carl was making a recipe that needed an egg to go in. But I guess Gordon was saying in your ear, egg, egg, and then yeah. Carla said, egg. <laughs> <laughs> so Gordon was saying egg, I say egg. I say egg, I say egg. And then, and then uh, Michael like picks up the egg, put the egg in. And I was like, I just needed one more word. Oh, like, right, 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 egg, yeah, grab, egg. Grab it. I went like this, I'm like, Carl, she said, egg. <laughs> <laughs> I have these are hard though because you've never done them. They are hard. Because it's, like, it's like you're hearing voices. You are know. hearing voices, and, yeah. and then when people have conversations. So, uh, speaking of forgetting, like forgetting ingredients and some pot on the stove. So, I'm always starting things at home. And I had put this blanket in uh, the wash before I uh, was leaving to go out of town. And I was like, I said, Matthew, have you ever washed this blanket? He's like, no, I think it's I think it's too big for the wash. And I was like, oh, okay, but it was in the wash already. <laughs> and then so he gets back into at home. He gets back at home from being away for a week, and he was like, he just sends me a picture with this blanket coming out of the the washing machine. It had been in the wash wet for a week. Oh. That smells great. So he was like, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, wet so, I did that with my workout clothes recently, Damon told me. I left them in the, in the know, wash. They smell real good. If you purchase shorter shorts, they would dry quicker. <laughs> shorter shorts. <laughs> Michael. What website are you using to buy shorts from? Because I know, I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'm like, you're probably on some sort of gay site. I'm not! You're looking at, you're looking at yes, I, you've been targeted, like, the ads that are you uh, an Instagram ad, they're like, this guy wants short shorts. Yeah, so then you're like, oh, he looks good. I'll take a four-inch inseam, yeah, that's good. Uh, four, it's not a four-inch inseam! Uh, that was like a four-inch five and a half. But, I mean, at this stage. Because <laughs> I went back and looked after you made the four inch inseam joke. A five and a half inch thing? Did they even make that? Yeah, five. They made they made four, five and a half, and something. They make shorts so short now. How do they make shorts so short? Who can wear things like this? Wait, Maybe you can I wish I know how to work my phone better because I posed the question to Jackass and he left a voice message on my thing. Oh. And he said, and I quote. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you know what? They are back. Those short shorts are back. And I gotta tell you, I'm pissed about it. You know why? Because 10 years ago, when I had perfect legs, it was eight inch long cargo shorts. And now that I'm a little bit older and my legs are no longer perfect, guess what's back? The short shorts. I'm pissed about it. I'm pissed. <laughs> I really, you know, I wish that I could walk around in short shorts. Uh, I mean, uh, 10 years ago, I, these legs, I used to stop fucking traffic is what I used to do. And my feet, Jennifer knows. You do have nice feet. feet. Yes, you have nice really feet. nice feet. I have nice feet. People nice would feet. stop me on the street and be like, those are some beautiful I mean, feet. What did you do? We're from New York City. They're nice. No, like in a sandal. Oh. And I used to have, a, I used to have like a, these great J. Crew sandals. Yeah. Oh, oh you're going over it now. You do. They're very petite little, they're very cute. They're nice. They're not hairy. They're not like gnomes. Is that, is that a question? I'll show you what they're doing. Yeah, please. Yeah, you show, guys, show on the feet now. Look at those. They're looking nice. They're looking I guess nice. once you turn 53, your feet still hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got left. Here. That's all I got left is my feet. My feet. Okay. All right. Is your turkey done yet? Yeah. We've been I'm doing this for almost 40, 40, well, we know it for 40 minutes now. Uh, let me start, uh, we'll start with, you know, I want to bring up a couple of things real quick before I pull off the turkey and plate. Clinton has, and David have a beautiful apartment. Beautiful. A beautiful. And they, it's, it's changed over the years. We've been fortunate enough to come here for over 10 years. And it's, it's, it's really gorgeous right now. But, oh, like, so there's a couple things. What? <laughs> like, these are the plates that we're serving now. Yes. I want you to see the plates that so they're against black. These are beautiful plates. Yes. Beautiful nice plates. blush pink. And I got here today, and I mean, David could probably prove this, but I am almost certain <laughs> that Clinton Kelly had a stack of plates delivered to the house in random colors. <laughs> and he was like, nope. <laughs> nope. And this is the one. Right here. This is the one. I mean, this, look at Damon. Damon, look. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, right. oh, and then the chair. Oh, yeah, wait. The one. The chair. It is a, it is a. Yeah. So, key, like, this is from um, uh, Microplane. And this is Katie's microphone, and I'm like, oh my god, we have to leave this for Clinton, right? Um, totally. And luck was in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you dude, you were. I 
I mean, you guys are really jealous. Yeah. This is an amazing. This is amazing. We, you know what? We like the we like the pink because it's a gender bender. It's no, a gender bender. No, it's a and it's very it's soothing. It's soothing. No, let me tell you, it looks good and it's, it looks good on all skin tones. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I worked at the Washington Hub in Washington D.C. The average age was about eighty-five, and they made sure all the walls were painted pink. Yeah, I know. I love it. It's you, you, you look a little younger. You even look young in this. In this I look young. Just <laughs> stop it. You don't be jealous. All right, time for our turkey. All right, let's get a little gray. Not. Cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, old guy. How can you drink coffee so late? I'm so hot. <laughs> he got here at five thirty. He's had four espressos. Four espressos. If I had four espressos, I'd be up until next Thursday. Child, if I had four M&Ms, I'd be up until next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weak. All right. Let's cook. It's good. 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 My favorite thing would be people who never cook. Can I show you one thing? I'm sure. sure. So many times guests would come on the chew and what? Be yeah, careful. The handle really Damon, hot. I know that a handle's hot. It just came out of the other. Uh, thank you for think, looking out for me. I do appreciate it. Because I've done, I've ruined, i ruined. He's saying that because. Because you burnt yourself before. I have. I burnt, <laughs> my, burnt my hand on He's New Year's Eve. He's looking out for your well being. On New Year's Eve, I took a pan out of, this, out of the oven, put it on the stove. You were drunk. I was drunk. <laughs> grabbed it, and then had a burnt hand for the rest of the, the, the night. holiday. The holiday. Okay. But it was fine. I got it. When, remember when people would come on the chew? <laughs> yes, who had never cooked before in a million years, like celebrities. Oh and they would pick up um, the tongs, and they would be like, "How do you open these?" <laughs> because you go like this when you when oh, you have no, they don't open. You have to tip them down, and then they open. But you would always be Some like, "Some of them even had cooking shows." So, <laughs> <laughs> Let's name names. <it. laughs> no, he's watching. All right. I so, talk shit about people. I, I want to know. talk shit about people so much. You bad. love talking shit. I love talking shit about people. Um, so oh, come on in, y'all. Come in and watch him um, cook and the turkey. I'm just gonna, so look, it's it's cooked all the way through. That's nice. It's very juicy. You know what? You get a juicy bird like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to oh. plop it back yeah. in the gravy. Oh, this is soul food style, y'all. Y'all know it's soul food That's style. That's how you do it. Come on. You know, Carla, one thing that we used to it. talk about a lot, stupid tongs, this so I'm just going to go chef style, um, is... The, the, the similarities. similarities between food from the Midwest and soul food yes. is, is it's, 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 in, it's incredible. Yes, yes, yes. How's, yes. how's the seasoning on our gravy? I, I liked it. I mean, when I tried it, did you? Well, I just burned my tongue on the potatoes. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it. So, so this, is a, this is a great way, I think, to do Thanksgiving if you're doing it for a small group. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. It obviously is gonna hold and stay juicy. Yes. So I'm gonna put like a couple pieces of turkey on there. And you put but, more flavor into the turkey itself <clears throat> by cutting it and putting it back in the gravy. Yeah, and then look, we're gonna garnish it with some sage leaves. Let's put the sage leaves. Beautiful. I mean, this is obviously a small portion, but um, and yeah, but like, and this is too, like, I don't, like, some people like really thick ass gravy. I, I like gravy I don't to like thick -ass just gravy. coat the meat. That's what I love. But not be, like, too overpowering. Um, God, I hate, this is the perfect weight and viscosity for thank me. Thank you, Carl. And if you wanted it a little bit darker, you could use it certainly a darker stock. Love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And you know what I was thinking, y'all? <clears throat> You know, talk no, about no. doing um, like a really quick Thanksgiving. If you're making cornbread, or even if you're making, I mean, I don't make box cornbread, but even if it was box cornbread, and you decided to put poultry seasoning into the dry mix, and you make it, it's going to feel like dressing. So imagine if you had that, and you have that cornbread with the poultry seasoning, and then you just have this, and you don't have to really do all the other things with the, the celery and the vegetables. This is delightful. Is it good? Wow. Very moist. <laughs> I make a moist bird. You know, so, I mean, that's the thing, too. We did a breast without bones, without the skin on it. Mm. But cooking it this way and kind of almost like quick braising it in the gravy mm -hmm. keeps a lean cut like that yeah. juicy. Right. And this combination of thyme that you, you uh, crisped in the oil. The plus sage, yeah. The, uh, the sage, mm -hmm. the thyme, and the nutmeg. It's yeah. a nice combo. It just feels like Thanksgiving. Oh. This feels like a chew. Oh. Uh, I like the show. I do. You know, I gotta tell you, like people always like, oh, they missed the chew. 
And what I miss is, like, we took it for granted, I think, a little bit. Like, we got to hang out a couple days a week. You know, there were about, I was saying this to someone earlier today, I, I think there were about 140 people that worked on the chew. Mm -hmm. And probably about 100 of them were there from day one to, yeah. to the end of the seventh season. Yeah, that's true. Um, so it felt very much like a family. Yeah, so absolutely. I missed that part of the show very much. It was a very special um, moment in time that we had. It was. Those, what was it, seven years ago? It was seven, seven years, 1,700 episodes. Wow. And you know what? I only missed like 10 of them. Really? <laughs> Good for you. No. I miss me. What do you miss me? I, I, I missed about, and so toward the end, I missed like 10 because it was a week and I went, I wasn't there, but I'm just saying, it was a lot. It was a we were all there a lot. Yeah. You missed some of your cholesterol got high and you took a look. I took a cholesterol. I had to do a reset. You said your cholesterol high and I did. I, my doctor was like, your cholesterol is through the roof. I'm like, it's because I'm on the chew. <laughs> You're trying to kill me, man. You're trying to kill me, man. So yeah. I, um, yeah, I, had to, I took like a, I took a few weeks off, and I was like, I mean, so I just ate like chicken breast and smoothies for. Three yeah, weren't you having bald eggs too? But yeah, I had a lot of eggs. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, they say the eggs aren't bad for your cholesterol. No, they keep going. Yeah. Um, um, and, and I tell you, I miss watching you eat, like how you hold a fork. Matthew talks about it all the time, <laughs> even to this very day. He talks I'm a about forker. how you hold the fork. Yeah, like, I, 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 I hold it in reverse. Of some kind. I don't know why. Like I grab it like this, but then I. I poke. Well, it's like continental dining, except not really. Except not continental. Except not on the continent. Um, all right, well, I guess we should wrap this up. Yeah, you guys, this was awesome. Thank you. Um, right, well, first, I want to- Stop eating and say goodbye. Oh, oh, I, I wanna, wait, I think a couple things have to happen. I want to I mean, oh, say happy things. Want to do more? Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. But I also, kind of show me stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have something to say. I got something to say, too. I did a podcast. Oh! The first episode of my podcast is out. It's called It's Your Fault. Okay? Oh my God. And it's basically, I invite an ex, a, a couple who has broken up to come into my office and explain what went wrong in their relationship. And I, with some judges, a comedian and a therapist, oh ask them questions. We determine who, went, who was at fault. And then the person who was not at fault gets money. What? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. You could do, you haven't broken up. I, no, I, no, I to, want to be one of the judges. To be judges, absolutely. It's you haven't really broken up. I'll break up, I just want to be on. Yeah, it's called It's Your Fault. So uh, I just launched that. today. Check it out, it's a good, it's a, it's a good laugh. Amazing. It's funny, it's funny. Um, yeah. I, I can't wait to watch it. Um, once again, going to bed, I can't stop eating. Uh, I have two shows going on the Food Network, which I'm super proud of. We, Simon's Dinners, we just filmed our fourth season. Yes, so, dude! Uh, we do it in our backyard. That'll start back up again in the spring. <clears throat> and we're in the process now of filming season two. They picked up season two of Barbecue USA, where I kind of go around the country. Fantastic. And hang out with barbecue people. So, um, and again, you guys, this is all because of you guys. We, the, the Chew was a great time in all of our lives. We fortunately did things before it. And we've done things afterwards, but it's all because you have all been so supportive of us, and we love that. I mean, it really is true. Right now, you'll see me. Um, Halloween Baking Championship just ended, so I'll be on holiday, and then I'm hosting the gingerbread um, competition, the gingerbread showdown. And this is coming out soon. It's uh, Calafia Farms and myself for comfort cooking. It's all vegan food. Oh, Hello. I have I not forgotten that. all of the plant-based folks out there. And it's stuff in here like the macaroni and cheese. You've got like a barley That's um, a great risotto. picture of you, by the way. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have the pot pie. It really tastes like a very filling, delicious pot pie. Chicken fried mushrooms. So that's happening. Love that. And then what else? What else is happening with me? Oh, for the holidays, Carla, Carla and the Christmas cornbread. It's a children's book. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that's a great name. What's that gonna be? That's a good children's book. Yeah, and it, it's there's a recipe in there, and it's a great thing to do with like young people and get them involved with like. Um, their parents or their grandparents, and um, so yeah, that's it. And I have brought you all gifts. So I oh. have okay. So um, there is this store here in New York. If you're in New York, it's called the Coco Store, and they have a chocolate sommelier, and it is like a wine store for chocolate. Mm. Oh, you're talking about? Language. I mean, dude, it. I've been. <laughs> I mean, I've been there twice in like two weeks, 
and it is so great. So I brought you all some chocolate. Thank you. Yeah, and you know, it's, some. It's dark milk. I like milk chocolate. Yes. Sometimes it's too sweet, so maybe dark milk. Yes, yes. Should we try a little try bit? Try it. Right yes, yeah. try it. What's the name of this company? The Swedish <clears throat> Cacao Company? Yeah. I also think, um, once we're finished, finish, you gotta, you gotta do your official, how do you use this? What did you used to say? I love you, you mean it. Oh no, have a class. That's not what you said. On the, love you mean it, I said at the end of happy half hour. But you probably didn't watch that to the end. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you got too hammered after the first 20 minutes. Probably, yeah. I watched a lot of those actually. Probably want to You're out of chocolate this late? Oh, well, I'll be up till tomorrow. I'm going to put it over some coffee. Wow! That's a perfect sweetness. Okay. Wow! That's really, really good. good. Delish! Yeah. All right, you're welcome. All right. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody at home. Well, I'm sure we'll see you on social media before then, but not yeah. together. No, not together. Um, thank you guys for coming over. Thank Wonderful you to see you as always, my friends. I know. Love, Love you guys. 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 Love you gu